Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in this video, I'll show you how you can create a Copilot Studio agent in Plan Designer. Now in the past, I was able to create an agent using an extension of the Canvas app that we built using Plan Designer. However, with the recent enhancements that we've received, you can now directly create a standard agent using the Copilot Studio. The trick is in the instructions that you provide in your plan designer and I'll walk you through that as well. So stick around, this is fantastic. But first, here's my intro video. Plan designer is the intelligent way to build your entire solution using some agents that Microsoft has already provided to go ahead and start with the initial designing, then building your table structure with a solid schema in the back end, building apps, flows, and now the new addition is Power BI reports and agents. So in this video, I'll be focusing entirely on agents. However, if you're interested more in the deep diving of how this plan designer actually works, go ahead and take a look at this video that I released about five months ago. And I've taken the link to this video and put it in the description below. So what I want to talk about is now the whole scenario of what I'm actually building this plan designer solution and where the agent fits in. So let's take a look at that. So the solution is built for a nonprofit organization whose sole purpose is take care of the homeless people over the weekend. They are also called as our neighbors. Now, this entire operation is run by two executive people, which is Adrian and Nita. However, they lead multiple departments, which is a very well-polished machine, including driving, overnight host, table hosts, all the way up to the shower lead and the cleanup crew. And this entire program is done purely on a voluntary basis. So for each of these departments, we have volunteers. So we needed a way for the volunteers to go and submit the request and also to see the status of the request. To make the whole thing easier, we've also now provided the agentic side of it, where each of these volunteers can have a discussion with the agent to basically see when their next volunteer period is and also to have a discussion to change things. So to build this, we have a very specific prompt, which actually is the instruction. We're gonna go and use this instruction and then take it to the next level by even having an agent built into it. So now that you understand the scenario, let's go and build it from scratch. So here I am in Power Apps with the plans selected, and this is where I go and describe my problem, which in our case is that very specific prompt. So I'll go and paste it, but let's read it together. It says, this solution will help the Room at the End, which is the nonprofit organization I talked about, a nonprofit team to manage all the teams and their respective processes. Attach is an organization chart, which provides the executive team, all the departments they support, and the tasks for each department. All of this is done on a volunteer basis, and hence we need the flexibility to add and remove users assigned to each stack and also send a friendly reminder notification 24 hours before each event. All right, so now is the additional part that I've recently added. It states, finally, provide a custom agent with who the volunteers can chat to gather information about the events and their tasks. So this is the instruction, AKA the prompt. I'm gonna do two things now. I'm also gonna go and provide more details. So here is the PNG version of the org chart that I just showed you. In addition, I am gonna select this checkbox and include the preview features that come along with it, which in our case is building of the agent as well. So now let me go ahead and just click on this create, because here we go. It will go ahead and start pulling in all of these agents to do our work. And now you can actually see all four agents. So on the top right, if I just click on this drop down, you can see my name, but you can see the requirements agent, the process agent, data agent, and the solution agent. All of these are in action. So it has already gone ahead and given me my business problem, and then also given my user requirements. So you can see we've got the executive team member, department leader, volunteers. It's broken down into these different things. So, so far for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna say looks good. So it goes ahead and does that. And now the process agent is generating the overall process. So over here, we can actually see it is in action. So we just have to wait till this is completed. Great, the process agent has generated a set of processes next to the document. So if I just go and click on the set of the processes, it gives me an overview right over here and you can actually see the breakdown. What I'm gonna say, it looks good. And then now it is going and creating the data model. This is where the data agent actually shines so well. And if you're really interested, if I click on the show details, 
you can actually see this entire data schema, which is basically the data structure that was automatically designed in the back end. So I'm going to go back and click on back because I want to move forward. I'm going to say it looks good. So the next thing that happened is the solution agent generated the technology. And right away here is the new enhancement. You see the agent info copilot agent. This is now the new feature where it goes and creates the directly agent. No longer do you have to go to the canvas app, select on the three dots of the ellipses, and then build an agent from there. Directly, you can go and build the agent. This is the new feature that I was talking about. And if you go and hover over the icon over here, it tells you that this agent was actually built based on this criteria. Because remember, in the prompt, I said that the volunteers should have the flexibility to have the discussion. So the user roles who can access it is the volunteers, and these are the four tables it'll touch. Now, as I was reading this, it just occurred to me is that why do I limit this agent utilization only by volunteers? Why don't I just keep it with the entire organization? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say edit. And so right here, the text says describe what you'd like to add or change. And this is exactly what I'm saying. It says for the event info copilot agent, which is the name of the agent right over here, add the executive lead and the department lead as well. So I'm just going to click over here and I'm so I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to click on the go. And now the enhancement is happening. It says a solution agent is updating the objects. So did it make any change? It actually did. So check this out. If I come back over here now and hover over it, you actually see the enhancement which is there. Previously, it was just the volunteer user roles, but now it also is the executive team member and the department leaders. And you still have those set of tables in the back end. So the changes happen. I like it. So I'm going to say on keep. I'm going to say looks good. And over here, and now I'm going to click on save tables. And yes, that's going to be the new solution. So I'm going to continue with clicking save. And now the whole process starts in the back end. It is saving the solution. Next, the data agent is actually saving the tables. So this tables that we saw over here, including the schema, all of those are actually being created automatically in the back end. Great. The tables have been created and it says to create and customize an object, just hover over it and select create. So in our case, the first thing that I'm going to do is actually go and create my agent. So I'm going to hover over it and I see this plus. So I'm going to go and click on create. And now it opens up another tab and directly takes us into the Copilot Studio. Now it is making sure that I'm in the exact same environment. So on the top right, it says the environment is Daniel Christian, which is exactly where we were on the Power App site. But this is where all the magic happens because it's actually going ahead and setting up our agent. And as the screen is reloading and refreshing, it is going ahead and adding knowledge to my agent. The first set of knowledges is directly all those dataverse tables that is coming in. Also, it will go ahead and add all these instructions. Remember, all of this is happening automatically in a very intelligent way using the planner. All right, so it's already gone ahead and added the knowledge. So let's spend a few minutes actually peeling the different layers over here. So it gave me the agent name, which is the event info copilot agent. And just to verify that it already gave us the name right over here. All right. So we've got that agent created. By the way, did you notice something? We no longer have the plus over there. We now have the pencil to go ahead and edit it. So that's the first thing. All right. So we come back over here. The name is there. It gives a description. It says a chat agent for executives, department leaders and volunteers to answer event task or schedule questions to support confident participation. Exactly the way we gave it in our instructions. Now, these are the general instructions for the agent. This is provide accurate and timely information about the events, tasks and schedules. Now, for the full utilization of this, the orchestration has already been enabled because this is where the generative AI will determine the best response to our users. But for the knowledge, we actually have the event task volunteer table. And if I click on see all, this is what it is. This is the table which is already there. And finally, when we scroll down just to verify, nope, there is no other tools, no triggers or no even multi agents. All of this is automatically being created. And even if I go and expand the topics, I'll see that I have the standard four out of the box custom topics and then the nine out of the box system ones. So this is the overall agent that has been created. Now, the key thing is the knowledge are basically dataverse tables. So as you go ahead and add more information in, our agent will be able to directly tap into that dataverse tables and provide us the information. And if you want to go and make any changes over there, it will directly go and work on those dataverse tables. Now, keep in mind, this is fully solutions based. So if I still come on the home, making sure I'm in the same environment, I see this new agent created over here. However, if I click on these ellipses and I go to solutions, 
you see the unmanaged solution called Team Coordination for Volunteers. This is what the planner went and created for us. So if I click on it, it'll go and expand. It'll tell me all the objects that I have over here. It has selected objects. It is telling me that 14 agent components are there. Those are basically the topics that we have, including the agent itself. So what's neat is that all of this is out of the box packaged for you by plan designer, including the agent. And then you have the other things as well. You actually have the plan. Uh, you've got the tables, plan artifact, attachment, and even the data workspaces. And we are able to see it on the Copilot Studio side. The exact same thing can be seen even in the Power Apps where we actually went and used the plan designer. See, right over here, it's an unmanaged solution, team coordination for volunteers. And when we select it, we come into the objects, we see the exact same thing. So this was an introductory video of showing you how even agents can be built as part of the overall plan designer's intelligent solution building process. And in the future, I highly recommend you start to level plan designers for building your apps, flows, and even Copilot Studio agents. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.